Hello friends, welcome to the channel IT Simplified. In today's video, we'll see how to transfer data between two different Azure AD tenant. So let's get started. Before I proceed, if you're liking these sessions, don't forget to like, subscribe and share this content. So let's try to visualize a problem that we're trying to tackle here. Let's say you have two different Azure AD tenant, tenant A and tenant B. And under these tenants, you have respective storage accounts, storage account A and B. And the idea here is that you want to move the data from one storage account to another. For this, you can use the utility called AZ copy and in combination with SAS token, you'll be able to move the data. And that is what I'm going to show you. So with that, let me go and uh, flip over to the whiteboard. All right, so as you can see that uh, for this scenario that we're going to test, I have two tenants with the name tenant A and tenant B, and I have a storage account with the name SSA or source storage account 108 with container 108 underneath. And under the destination, I have a storage account with the name DSA 108 and the container with the name 109. The idea being that I want to move the data from container 108 to the data in container 109. So let me show you actually on the portal so this is one tenant as you can see and underneath i have ssa 108 and if i can go under the containers you can see i have a container with the name c 108 and i have a file with the name nyt and this is in an mp4 format and what i want to do is i want to move this to a separate tenant so this is a totally new tenant or different tenant and this is uh, having dsa or destination storage account and in this container, which is with the name C109, it is empty. But before, uh, after everything done, I should see that uh, MP4 file over here. So for that, I'm going to use a utility called AZ Copy. So what I've done is I've already downloaded that AZ Copy onto my native local machine. So I'm going to open the command prompt. So I've already downloaded that AZ copy utility on this machine. So if I can go and uh, go to my file explorer, go to the desktop, that's the file that I've downloaded. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy the path from here and uh, in my command prompt, I will change the directory to that path, right? And uh, now for moving the data, I'm going to use a specific command. I will leave this command in the description of this video. And let me just copy that first. All right, so you can see that this is an easy copy command in which I have the source storage account and I have the destination storage account and we're going to change the value and also going to add the SAS token too. So let me just first just remove the content from here and I'm going to go to the my source storage account. And over here, I'm going to go to the overview button and I'll go to the containers. And let me go to the container properties and I'm going to copy this URL from here, right? And let's go to the command prompt back and I'm going to just paste this URL here, right? So that's the first part. Now we also need to generate the SAS token for which I'm going to add the forward slash. And uh, let's go back to the portal and I'm going to go to the storage account. And to generate the SAS token, I'm going to go under shared access signature and under the allowed resource type, make sure you select all these service container and object. 
And if you go at the bottom, you see you have generate SAS and connection string. And this is the one token that you need to copy. So I'm going to copy the SAS token from here. Go back to the command prompt and just paste this token. And you're going to repeat this onto your destination and change the storage account and the SAS token accordingly. So let's go and remove this. And I'm going to go to my destination storage account tenant. So you can see it's DSA 108. Let me go and expand this. Go to the container, select the container, go to the container properties and copy the URL. Let's go and uh, paste this. And now we are also going to add the SAS token. I'm going to go to the storage account back and under security and networking, go to share access signature, select service container and object under allowed resource types and let's generate. Copy the token and let's plug it here. And let me just hit enter. So you can see the number of file transfer was one, total number of transfer and the number of transfer completed was one. And the final job status is completed. And let me just go and cross check by going onto my destination storage account container. And just remember the name of the container was C109. And here we go, I have the MP4 file. And that is how you're going to transfer your data between two storage accounts sitting under two different tenants. Hopefully you like this video. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.